Now it's time for the further adventures of Big John and Sparky. Today's chapter is entitled, Yuki's Magic Travel Machine. Sparky disappeared from home. No one knew where he went. Everyone looked for him everywhere, but no one could find him. I suspected he had gone back to the land of make-believe. That's where he's supposed to have come from. Mayor Plumfront thought this idea was ridiculous, saying that there is no such place. But Yuki took the suggestion seriously, and he went to his inventing laboratory in the old plug nickel farm to invent a machine that would travel through time and space. Today's episode is about that invention. As we join Yuki, he's alone in the barn. Well, now that my magic travel machine is invented, I guess the thing to do is try it out. Guess I'll use one of them there half-wit chickens out in the barnyard for my experiment. Just go outside and get one. Come here, chickens. Hey, chicky. Come on over here, chicky. closed again so that no spies could see my experiment. <laughs> now, to get on with things, I place the chicken inside my scientific magic travel machine thusly, and I turn these here dials in front of the hydraulic lift leader and focus the reversal x-ray from the vision evaporator, and then when I pull down on the lever in the front of this here machine, this here chicken will disappear right before the very eyes and reappear on top of, the, let's see, well, I said, on top of that hayloft over there. <laughs> That's what I'll do. Okay, here goes. I'll pull the lever. Hey, chicken, are you up there in the hayloft? <laughs> ah, fine, fine, fine. Well, the magic travel machine is a success. It's ready to send me to the land of make believe where I'll look for Sparky. Oh, boy. Wait till Big John hears about this. <laughs> well, I guess the thing to do right now would be to call up Big John and the mayor and tell him about my new successful invention. In fact, the matter is, I believe I'll have him come out here and operate the thing for me so as I can be sent off to the land of make-believe. Got to have somebody to operate it for me so as they can bring it back, bring me back whenever I want to come back, because I can't pull down on the return lever if I'm not here. Uh, <laughs> and I won't be after this here machine sends me away. Now, let's see. Uh, uh, there. Call up the mayor. He's probably still at Big John's house. This is really a scientific breakthrough. I guess the mayor's really going to be surprised when he hears this. <laughs> oh, Big John, too. They'll really be taken aback, no doubt. I hope he's still at Big John's house. Save a little time if he is. Telephone for you there now. Hello, uh, uh, Hello, Mayor. Uh, hey, this is Yuki. Are you still over to Big John's house, I see? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I finished it. It's all set and ready to go. That's why I called you up. I want you and Big John to come on over here and operate it for me and send me off to the land of make believe. What? You mean to say you really invented a machine that'll send you there? Yeah, I sure have. Oh, Yuki, but you know, I know you've done wet and gone off your rocker. <laughs> Gotta get you up in your tree somehow. Now, listen, it'd be impossible to invent such a device. Yeah, well, maybe so, but I invented one. Come on out and take a look at it. Now listen, Mayor, just stop and talk to Big John there and talk to me, will you? Yeah, okay. Listen, you, you stay right where you are. Big John and me will be right out there to take a look at that there invention of yours, all right? <laughs> hey, hey, boy, this will be good. Yeah, you bet it's going to be good. Just you fellas wait until you see my new scientific device. I call it the Magic Travel Machine. <laughs> Come on into my invent laboratory and take a look at my latest and most spectacular invention. 
And if this thing works, it'll be the most surprising thing in the face of this here earth as far as I'm concerned. How about you, Big John? Yeah, I agree with you, Mayor. <laughs> it's impossible to invent a machine such as Yuki talks about. Who ever heard of a machine that'll make a person disappear from one place and make them reappear seconds later in another place thousands of miles away? Well, I have heard of such a machine. It's right inside my invent laboratory. And on top of that, it'll take us to the land to make the leave. Well, that makes it all the more impossible. Who ever heard of going someplace that doesn't even exist? <laughs> What do you mean, some place that doesn't even exist? The land of make-believe is a real place, isn't it? Sparky's real, isn't he? He came from the land of make-believe. Now, if Sparky came from there, then there must be a real place. All you have to do is figure out a way to get there, and I've solved the mystery. Well, okay, let's go see the machine, Yuki. Let's go see it. Yeah, let's see it. I'll say that there's such a machine whenever I see it. Well, I'll just come on inside here. Just remember, you guys, 25 years ago, 50 years ago, people thought there was no such a thing as television thought it was impossible. Before that, they thought radio was impossible. I still think radio is impossible. A hundred years ago, they thought the photograph was impossible. But today, there's hardly a home in America that doesn't have at least one of these devices. Many, many homes have all three. Well, I'll have to admit you're right there. Yeah, but a magic travel machine that'll do things that Yuki says it'll do. Now, that's something altogether different, Big John. Ah, that's what they said about Eli Whitney's cotton gin and Robert Fulton's speedboat. I tell you, fellas, I have just invented my greatest invention, and it'll just change the whole world. Now, just come on over here and take a look, fellas. Oh. Is, it, is, is this here contraption, the invention you're talking about? That's 100% correct. Now, you see this here part that looks like uh, a cage without any walls? That's where you put the person or the thing that you want to send off somewhere. You see, you stand in there. Oh, not me. I don't stand in there. Well, okay, then I will. I stand in here. Now, the operator of the machine sets the dials to the place where he wants to send the victim, or I mean the person who is being sent away. <laughs> if you ask me, you're the one that ought to be sent away. Now, according to my calculations, in order to send me to the land of make-believe, dial number one should be set at 100, dial number two at 100, and dial number three at 100. Now, Mayor, you pulled out on that there lever on the machine, see? As soon as you pull that down, I'll be off. If you ask me, I don't have to pull down no lever for you to be off. Oh, and by the way, you see that there loudspeaker on top of this here machine? Through that, I'll be able to hear everything that goes on wherever I am. And you'll be able to hear what's going on, too, see? And then later on, I shall install a television tube on this here device, and then you'll be able to watch everything I do while I'm away. Got that? <laughs> oh, boy, you get loonier and loonier every day. Okay, Mayor. Pull down on the lever. Now, wait a minute. Are you serious, Yuki? Of course I'm serious. Why do you think I invented this here invention? Pull down on the lever, Mayor. Just a second. Is it safe, Yuki? I mean, this thing might electrocute you. Oh, no, it's perfectly safe. They got perfectly safe. Pull down on the lever there, Mayor. Okay. You ask for it. Here goes. So long, fellas. Next time you hear my voice, I'll be talking to you from the land of make the leave. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor, look, he's, he's disappearing. He's disappearing. He's gone. He's disappeared right before our very... He's gone. Well, what do you know? Disappeared right in front of our very own eyes. Hey, I wonder if he is in the land to make believe. Well, let's just listen by means of this loudspeaker on the machine. Turn the knob there under the loudspeaker. That must be the volume control. All right. I don't know how you tune anything in. I don't hear Yuki. Just keep trying. Listen, listen. I hear something. I hear something. It sounds like a streetcar. Well, what do you know? Hey, I'm riding down a streetcar. Didn't even know they had streetcars in the land to make the lead. Maybe I better ask this fellow sitting next to me where I am. Get off that to find the little fellow to the name of Sparky. Did you ever hear of him? What do you know? I'm not the land of make believe. I believe I'm in China. The magic travel machine sent me to China. Oh, boy, 
something. I forgot to tell the mayor how to get me back home. In fact, if I remember correctly, I forgot to put anything on the device which brings me back home. Oh, me. We said brought some money along with me so I could buy a steamboat ticket back home. Oh, I'll see you later, kids.